the Chef Club. Today we're bringing you a new twist on a classic favorite, clam chowder. But not quite the way you usually think of it. This is gonna be an appetizer style, sort of a deconstructed clam chowder. It is probably best served as a party tray, appetizer, that sort of thing. A really great, fun, visually appealing dish to bring to your next party or event. Uh, we have some clams. Don't need to use fresh clams for this. Canned clams are perfect. Um, our classic Old Bay seasoning and lots of other fresh ingredients. Not a whole lot of time, not a whole lot of money, but a lot of fun. Follow along and find the recipe at chefclub.tv. So we have some Philadelphia cream cheese. I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna just score the top of it like so, we'll do the other side. So we have this crosshatch pattern in our cheese. And then we have our Old Bay seasoning and we're going to generously coat the top of the cheese. Now as the cheese moves on to our next step with those cuts in there, it's gonna get nicely seasoned. So we're gonna take our kitchen torch, and we have some hickory chips that we're going to light. That should be good enough. We're gonna take our cream cheese and we're gonna place it right over the top and we're gonna smoke the cheese by placing this lid right here. All right, so we've let our cream cheese smoke. It's nice and soft and bubbly. So we're gonna take it from the pan and we've got some diced red bell pepper, parsley, diced bacon, and some shredded cheddar cheese. And we're gonna add one cup of sour cream and one can of chopped clams. And we're gonna give this a nice stir so that we incorporate these ingredients really well with each other. Got this nicely blended and I have a pastry bag. You could also use a Ziploc bag if you don't have a pastry bag available. I'm just gonna add all of that clam dip to the bag. Try to get all those last little bits. Then we're going to squeeze this down to the bottom and snip off this end. And then I have a silicone baking tray. We're just gonna pipe in some of the dip into each spot. And then we have some chipolini onions that we're just going to push down in to the dip. Now I've roasted these at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes to get that nice, soft, golden texture and really bring out the sweetness of the onion. All right, now that we have those all filled up, we have filled our other side with clam dip as well. We're gonna match these up so that we're creating a sphere. And we're gonna take these binder clips and just add them to each side. And then we're off to the freezer. So we'll let these freeze until they're nicely solid. So our burner's preheated and we're gonna add some Parmesan cheese to the pan. We wanna have it relatively even. And you don't want the pan to be super hot. You wanna cook this slow and low. Now I have some 
aluminum balls. I'm gonna just place two right here. Then I have some pizza dough. You can use store-bought or homemade. And we're just gonna drape this over and then secure these into the edge. All right, now that we have that nicely shaped in our pan, just gonna prick this a few times so that it doesn't bubble up. And then we have just a cereal box that we've cut into an accordion-like pattern. We have some parchment paper that we've done the same. And our Parmesan is nice and melted. So we're gonna carefully drape this over our parchment paper. And we're going to just press this in to the ridges in our cardboard and our parchment paper so that our cheese takes on that shape as well as it hardens. And it's gonna help to create a fan-like shape here at the bottom. We're just gonna place an elastic on it right there. All right, now that we have that nicely placed on there, we're ready to bake our pastry in the oven. So we'll let this bake for about 18 to 20 minutes until it's nicely golden brown. So our cheese balls are out of the freezer. Just remove these clips. We have these perfect spheres. We're gonna take them and plop them into our flour. Some of them are stubborn. And then we need to coat them in the flour. Just lightly. Then we'll take one and dip it in our egg wash. Make sure we get that nicely coated. Let some of that excess drip off. And we have some breadcrumbs that we will coat it with as well. All right, we have this nicely breaded. I'm just gonna place it in my pasta skimmer and we're gonna lower it into the hot oil, get it nice, golden, and soft. All right, now that we have these nicely golden, let's move on to our next step. So our shell is out of the oven and it's cooled enough to handle. So we're going to gently place it right here on our plate. And we have a corn dip that we're going to add to the top of our plate. Spread this out. Then we're gonna add some fresh arugula to the top. All right. Now we have our Parmesan crust that we're just gonna place here for the moment. And we'll add a few cherry tomatoes on top of our arugula. Now we'll lift up our Parmesan shell and with our tongs, we'll just start placing our clam chowder balls right in there. I hope you've enjoyed this reimagining of clam chowder into this fabulous appetizer. There are lots of different ways that you could make this a little bit quicker. Like I said, you could use a pre-made pizza dough that speeds things up just a little bit, but this really is a crowd pleaser and I'm sure that it would liven up any appetizer table to which you bring it. Find the recipe at chefclub.tv and send us your pictures of you making this dish at home.